Hi right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial on list views. Now, this video we're going to finish list views, and we're going to add a. I'm going to show you how to manipulate the array adapter, or our custom planets adapter, to model this, or to make the text itself clickable, but not the view itself. This allows you to add multiple clickable items to a view, and show you how to do that. And then after this, we're going to move on to tutorials on all kinds of uh, neat stuff. And we're going to do a tutorial then on fragments because I'm getting a lot of requests lately for fragments and I'll post the source code for that. So remember what we said here, um, what we were going through here is this view left and view right. So we're alternating the views side by side down along. And if position modulus two, so if it's an even view, move it to the left, if it's an odd view, move it to the right. Well, we're going to change this up a little bit. So this text view here, okay, we're actually going to, um, just we're going to edit this and we're just going to make this into a variable list text okay like that and then we're just going to put in list text here because we're going to do a few operations on the uh, list text and it's also handy just to have it like that and then we're just putting list text over here and better not forget those semicolons okay so that's that Done. I noticed in the last few videos also I didn't have the text zoomed up. So now we're going to set our on click listener. Now, there's no point having a making up the same on click listener for the two of them, is there? So we're actually going to make a inner class on this adapter. I'm sorry, private class um, text list text listener. List, click, list text click listener and that's going to implement yes I spelled it right uh, the on click listener implements on click listener and then we just have to import and then we have to add our own on our on click method or on our uh, view view here okay so now we've done that so what we're going to do now is we're going to just set up a variable up here you know um list and we say it's listener okay so list text click listener listener equals new okay so that's our uh, on click listener ready and made okay so we'll just add this to this here so I'll say list text god damn it why can't I type dot set on click listener and then we're just going to put in listener here so this is just you know the boring stuff and we're just going to copy and paste that line because what I could do here is I could um have the text view set up here and then have the position you can do and put that code down here but to be honest I'm just lazy and I'm a little sloppy sometimes when I'm doing these so now we've got our listener implement so when the text is clicked in the list view it's going to implement an on click listener okay now remember here how we had the click handler this text blah 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 well what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy and paste this okay here Wait a minute. No, we're not. Yeah, I know. What we're going to do is we're actually going to remove um, all this code here, okay? And we're just going to simply say just a very basic little thing here. Click that position, okay? So we're just going to leave that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the uh, toast pop up again. Or a different toast pop up when we click the actual text. So what we're going to do is See that view that's passed in here, view, view. That view is the view that's just been clicked, which is the text view itself. So what I can say is text view clicked equals, and then we're going to cast the text, the view to a text view. Okay? That's okay. Then we're just going to say toast.make text. 
just going to put in the show method because it's easier that way. And add arguments. So context. And this is t o a s t dot length short. Now we need our uh, actual argument for our text. So we're just going to say clicked dot get text. Get text dot to string. So now we've got our text. And we're just going to add that to a, you know, clicked. We'll just say text clicked actually. Okay. So now we've done up the code, I'm going to run through it again just so you guys know. So what we've done here is we've removed the uh, list click handler. Uh, the toast for that and some of the details about it and we just have so when we click a list item a toast should pop up saying click that position and give us the position now what we've done then is in the actual adapter itself the uh, planets adapter we have modified that to add uh, unclick listeners to the list text itself so to the actual text view we're adding a listener and then what we're doing is uh, down here is our listener and that listener, the onClick method for any onClick listener receives the view that was clicked. So we're going to cast that view to a text view and then we're going to get the text from that text and then just pop it up in a toast. So that's what should happen. Now I just need to double check everything here. So I'm just going to go into my layout and I'm going to check view row right because I just need to make verify that these are clickable. So if you have a look in our XML file, okay, see, look, Android clickable equals true. That means that can receive button clicks. Uh, so we'll run this, just make sure our emulator is up and running. Well, hey, it's working nicely. Yep, our, our Nexus 7 emulator is up, so run. Probably looks a little bit small on the screen, but it shouldn't appear too small because I'm going to, I zoom the, my screen up anyway. I crop out some of the uh, garbage areas. So, yep. We are now installing the uh, thing here. And good, okay, so we've got our list view. So if we click an item, click to position one. Now let's click the text. Mercury text clicked. So this allows you to actually put in multiple um, things. So we can actually put in multiple, you know, buttons and views in here to be clicked and images and stuff. And if you remove this, I believe if you remove this and you have something like this here, I'm, I'm not 100% on this, but I know there's ways of disabling the actual list click itself. So you can have, so you can have like, you know, rows of buttons appear as a list view, for example. So that's just one example on how you can do this. So that's your list view tutorial anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed just very quickly this little feature. It's a nice thing. Next video, we're going to get into some really nice stuff. We're going to make a huge fragment base. We're going to make two fragments, two, two activities, and we're going to make a huge periodic table information system. So we're going to be using our array adapters, our list adapters, our list views, and we're going to I'm going to show you how to have all the elements and loads of information about the periodic table of elements in a giant list and all of the information about them come up in different multi-pane views depending on what device we're using. Uh, so we'll do that in the next video.